Hello, welcome to Bob's Vape Reviews here in beautiful Manila, Philippines. Today we have a very nice review, but long awaited. All items in this review were bought by me for doing said review. I'd like to give a big shout out first off to Boss Michael in Missouri. Uh, he is the gentleman that purchased this mod and allowed me to do a review on it. Salamat, Boss Michael. Thank you. And here is the mod we are talking about. Ho, 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 ho. The RVCC Zeteki Mutant Mutation, excuse me, 21,000 series. We've been waiting for this mod for quite some time. Let's take her out. Beautiful, beautifully engraved body. All Delrin. We've got our frog there. Beautiful. All full copper. Full copper. Full copper. She looks beautiful. The plate has not been installed yet. I'm going to let Boss Michael. You do that. It's like buying a new car. You're the one that should take off the window sticker and the plastic off the seats. Here is the plate. The plate is beautiful. That is a beautiful looking plate. Sorry, upside down. That is a beautiful looking plate. Now, Zeteki is a geno of a frog. And its actual scientific name is Atelupus. I can't pronounce it. It's hard. It's A T E L O P U S Zeteki frog. And that was the picture of the frog that I put in the beginning of this video. Now, RVCC did try to make a 21,000 series mod four years ago. And the video is on YouTube if you want to check it out. And that mod was called the Agony. It didn't have a plate. And it never went into production. Only a few protos were made. This one is full production. Limited. Grab it while you can. Very nice body. We'll take it apart. Don't worry, guys. We'll take it all apart. Very nice. Being all copper, this thing's going to hit very hard. Very nice. When you're installing the plate, make sure to use a little bit of alcohol on a cotton bud or cotton ball. Wipe this area off really well with the alcohol. Let it dry. Take your plate. Take the sticky off the back. And place it and make sure you do not put her in upside down this is what she would look like with her plate I tell you what that's a sexy looking mod and then when you screw on the croaker ha <laughs> you know it boys this is a beautiful combination we'll get to that in a few minutes but this is really a nice mod I'm very I'm looking forward to using it I wish I could have picked one up myself but Things just are not working out for me at this time. Not your problem, mine. I like it a lot. It's really... If you want to talk about size... Oh, 21,000 uh, 21, mod is so big. Uh, it's, I can't fit it in my hand. Here is a malevolent next to the new 21,000. And as you can see, it is not much bigger. Not at all. I actually find the Malevolent to be a little small in my hand. My hands are big. So when I put this one in my hand, my fingers go right where they should. Beautiful. Really nice. Perfect. This one, when I grab it, it's small. My fingers don't line up as easily as they do on the 21,000. Don't get me wrong. I love this, but it is super small. And put the two of them side by side. They're almost the same height. And as you can see, there is not much difference between the two. But what the big difference is, is the battery. The 21,000 series battery is a great battery. It holds a lot of power for your vaping. This is a Molly that I re-wrapped. The wrap started getting questionable, so I re-wrapped it. But uh, this battery has a lot of power, vaping power all day long. You could make go lower with your builds. Not much, you guys. Battery safety. Remember, battery safety, Ohm's law. Okay? 
Now this being the Zateki, the tree frog, golden frog, I should say, is the actual name, the golden frog. And that was the picture I posted earlier, the golden frog. This being all copper, you want to be very careful and take care when you're screwing on your Addy here. And being hybrid, make sure that your Addy has a protruding 510 pin. And as you can see on my croaker here, I have a silver 510 pin from Vape Clinic. And as you can see, it protrudes a lot. So there's no problem with that. And always put your Addy on first. Okay, you guys are dying to see what it looks like with the Addy on there. All right. Take your time threading this. Remember, you guys, this is copper. I should have my Altum spacer on here. I'm not going to tighten it all the way down because I am going to get my Altum spacer. And let me put the plate on it. Now, is that a sexy mama jamma or what? Huh? Come on. Super sexy. Maganda. Oh, 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 I am king. Nice. Take the plate off. I'll take my Eddie off. Put my Eddie back on my Eddie stand. Okay. To take her apart, you're going to need a little Allen key. And I suggest to any of you vapors, get a little set like this. I picked this up at, I think, Ace Hardware or Handyman somewhere. It was cheap. And it has all the bits in here you'll ever need for taking apart mods. And this happens, I happen to have the right size here. Make sure you use the right size. You want to go in here with a set screw and loosen it up. There you go. Don't over tighten these. This is not a lug nut on a car. Be very gentle. Loosen them up. Don't you don't have to remove them all the way, but just loosen them up nice, so you've got some space. Till you see, till you see the head of the Allen screw. When you once you see the head of the Allen screw, then it's okay to take it out. But let's first take our button out. Now I like to use a rubber band. I put over the top, and I'll give it a little twist like so, and then I'll do it again, like so. Oh. Beautiful. And we know what? What's nice about this? This firing pin is the same one that's in all my other RVCC mods. So it's got a copper contact right there. It's spring activated. The spring in there. See that? My silver contact will fit on here and work. So I love the RVCCs. You could do that. Battery cap is full copper. Bob's Mods. What would I do if this was my mod? First thing I would do is make a silver battery cap. Like I have on this. Second thing I would do is I would make another silver firing pin. So I don't have to keep switching out my switch, my button. My firing mechanism. Third thing I would do is I would silver plate the copper tube. Top and bottom. I would silver plate it. Just go to your local jewelry shop. You could call them up. I know here in the Philippines, y'all don't like to call. You guys like to just go there. To save your time and save money and everything else, call beforehand and ask if they electroplate. If they electroplate jewelry, bring them this, these parts. Now, don't bring them the mod and expect them to take it apart. More than likely is they'll take it apart and they'll lose parts. Like the set screws or something, something will happen. Just bring the three parts, the top tube, the bottom tube, and if you want, you can have this battery cap silver plated, but I personally would have one made out of silver. My own opinion, you already have great conductivity with the copper. So, let me get this out. There's your top tube, comes out very easily. Nice, highly polished, very nice. There's the inside. Nice. Now the top tube, the bottom tube, I put my battery cap back in. Oh, the machining is so well done. Typical Filipino machining. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like to put my the battery cap in like that. And then what I'll do is I'll use my handle, put it in the hole, 
and give it a little tug. Well, this is very tight because it's new, so I'm going to have to go off camera. So hold on. I'll be I, having one leg. I have to be, go down on the floor. So give me a second, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I apologize for that. Here's your tube. Here's the body. Let's take a look at the body. The body itself is well done. And I have a little surprise for you guys. Do you see anything? It took me a while to find it. But each one of these does have a serial number. They are serialized. Nice. Don't see it? O2, right at the top. <laughs> Thank you, Boss Rich. That was quite quite a job right there. I'm impressed. I like that. Like my they're very nice. O2 I have. Number two O2. I love the frog. I love it. Ready, ready, ready. Nice. Full engrave. Normally I don't like engraved bodies, but this one was tastefully done. In my opinion, it is a very beautiful engrave. I like this engrave a lot. A lot, a lot. Very clean machining. It's very nice. I'm impressed. I tell you, this thing fits so well in your hand, it's like a glove. It's beautiful. It's like a part of you. Very nice. Take a look at the tube. Full copper tube. Highly polished. Very nice. Yes, I know. Why is it the tube etched? I really don't like the etched tubes. I think this is beautiful like this. And then silver plating it. It would make it pop. Pop goes the weasel because the weasel go pop. Very nice. Very nice. Reassembly. Put your top cap in. But it's a little loose. Okay. So what I like to do is I put it flat on the table like this. I make sure that the tube is down in. And I tighten it as it is right now. But on the edge of a wood table. I normally would be doing this on the edge of a wood table. Find my set screw. There it is. I want to make sure that it stays flat as I tighten this. And you just want to tighten it a little bit, you guys. You guys don't want to, you're not cranking down the lug nut on a Honda or on a Pajero. Just until she stops. A little more. I can feel it getting tighter. And that's it. Stop. Don't over tighten it. And then, you'll see, she's perfectly flat. 100% flat. Okay? Perfect. The bottom tube, make sure you put it in the right way. The threading goes bottom, down. Be very gentle. Push in gently like that. Make sure she's straight and she'll slide in. It's going to require a little muscle. So you guys use your muscles. Boom. And then what I do is I take it to the table and I push down to get it in a little bit more that it's got to go. I don't have the table here, so hold on a second. I got to go off the camera. Okay, so as you can see, she's flush, perfect, and then you go in and tighten the lower hole, like so, and just snug it, don't go ape shit crazy on this, okay, it's delicate, and then all you have left is your firing button, make sure she's flat, and she'll just thread right in. She falls right into place and threads. The machining is well done. Don't cross thread this. Take your time. Use your rubber band to help you tighten her down. And you'll know you have her all the way down when you look for, at her from the side. And you'll see. Apologize about that. My battery went dead. But as I was saying, tighten it down with your rubber band and you'll know that you have it all the way once you look at the side and you don't see any of the button sticking up at all anymore. Nice. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my croaker on first. Uh, you know what? Let me get an ultimate spacer. I'll be right back. No, forget it. I'll just be very, very careful. 
Very careful, Boss Mike. Don't worry. I'm going to take my back cap off. Machete is beautiful on this. I tell you what. And they also offer... Uh, I'll, I'll post up a couple pictures of a service that RVC offers. Where you can send your mod in. They'll authenticate it. And they'll give you a metal card. An actual metal card. With your serial number on it. And information. And this service I believe is about a thousand peso. At the end of the video I'll post up a picture of that service. I'm using dual coil. A1 Canthal. 5 loop. Uh, 24 gauge. Oh... Uh, three millimeter guide nice she's alive guys let me take a vape holy clouds <coughs> 21,000 battery is the tit I tell you what boys and girls that is really nice this is a nice mod fits very well in my hand I love it let me put that plate on there so you guys can take a look at it with the plate on. That is beautiful. The Croker and the RVCC Zateki Mutation 21,000 series. Price-wise, you'll pay about 8,000 peso. In America, $200. There were 10 of these made so far. So they're limited supply, limited number. Grab them while you can. You snooze, you lose. You can contact me or you can contact RVCC directly on their Facebook page. And remember, when you guys are you mess, mucking around with these plates, buy yourself a plastic pry tool. This one's beat up. I need new ones. But this is what you want to use to take that plate off. You don't want to use anything else. Do not use any metal tools. Do not use anything sharp, a knife, nothing like that. You'll ruin your mod. And you'll ruin your plate. So don't take a chance. Buy the correct tool for the right job. Period. End of the story. We'll go outside for a cloud check. What do I give this as a Bob score? A 9.5. A very strong 9.5. My very first 9.5. And I am very proud to give it to our VCC. And I'm not just saying that, I'm saying that because the mod is a beautiful, well put together, well designed mod. And I'm very happy. I don't think the price point is too high. I think it's perfect. This is a lot of mod made by one of the premier mod makers in the Philippines, RVCC. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, re deep, re deep, re deep. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys outside. We'll do a cloud check on this bad boy. Beautiful. I know I, I said I was going to do a review on the three Addies. That's coming up next. I wanted to be the first one on YouTube with a video, a review of this mod. Cause I am so proud of this mod and so happy with this. I wish it was mine. Guys, I'll see you outside. Okay, let's do some weights and measurements of the new RVCC mod. Put my scale. Come on. All right. Without battery, without Addy, 161, right on the tit, 161 grams, very nice, it's not heavy at all, let's get the mics out, do some measurements, and like I said guys, it's almost the same as the Zateki, matter of fact, here's the Zateki, Malevolent, and that's at 78. The new 21,000 mutation, 82. Come on, you guys. With 31. So you could put any atomizer on here 28 millimeter, 26, 25, 24. There's 39. This thing is perfect size. It really is. I can't believe how small he made it with twenty with the 21,000 series bat. Well, there we have the size. On to the next. 
Hey you guys, it's getting dark here as you can see the sunset, so I'm gonna make this quick. I'm using my orange uh, creamsicle that I made. Let me juice this up. The sunset's going down, it's a very beautiful sunset here in Manila. Very nice, I love it. Beautiful view. This is a really nice Addy. This Addy has great flavor and great, great cloud making. Cloud output is great with this mod. It's a beautiful mod. Well done, and I stick by my 9.5 rating. This Addy has almost too much air. It is adjustable, so I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. I need to juice it some more. Hold on, you guys, be patient. I think I got a low back going, you guys. I have to change my bats. Hold on. Okay, I changed bats. Let's see if it does any better. Much better. There you guys have it. The RBCC 21,000 series mod very nice I love it I would suggest buying one if you have the budget and are in the market definitely grab one while you can thank you for watching shout out to everybody at RBCC everybody boss rich uh, Tony boss Michael uh, boss Mike and Leite thank you guys Salama you guys be safe. Take care. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace. Here's the information for the program I was talking about with the RVCC that you send your mod in. And they will authenticate it and send you back a metal card. An actual metal card with the information on it. Take a screenshot. Save it. It's a very nice thing. A very nice feature they offer. Take advantage of it. You guys take care. God bless. Thank you.